going to see the first of this uh, series of avoiding security silos. And the first one has to do with what's the best way of dealing with vulnerabilities. Today, the problem is that we are embedded in a circle, not very virtuous, in which we scan periodically, depends on the size of your network, that take, may take a while, we produce report, pages and pages of PDF uh, th that needs to be patched. And then some of those get patched and then we go back to the same circle where we scan again and you know we go over and over. What we lack in this space is a way of dealing with priorities that are meaningful to your company. How do I decide which is the most important thing for me to actually uh, fix? We're going to show you what we do with Curate our vulnerability manager to address that. What we in every every company has today a network scanner, Nasus, Qualys, Rapid7, or Curator's QVM, and and they produce a tremendous amount of uh, findings of things that need to be fixed. But there's also other scanners like application scanner, like AppScan, that finds dynamically or statically things that need to be fixed at the uh, application level. Database scanners like Gardium get a tremendous level of detail on the vulnerabilities on, on a database. We have endpoint managers like IBM Endpoint Manager, formerly known as BigFix, that finds tremendous amount of intelligence on, on the devices. But none of these guys are talking to one another. There are individual silos. And let's see how they can communicate better. And what we do is that we take all those sources of vulnerabilities and we feed them into Curator's asset database. Once in there, in that asset database, you can do things very simply like show me or prioritize or, or sort all the vulnerabilities by which of them has been active recently. Meaning, if there are some vulnerabilities that have not seen traffic related to it, I'm not saying that I should not fix them, but you know, there might be other things that have a better priority, uh, a higher priority. Another one can be, well, my endpoint manager, like in the case of IBM Endpoint Manager, can it patch that right away? In other words, in the case of I, uh, uh, IBM Endpoint Manager, does a fix list exist already for that vulnerability? And you'll be surprised at uh, how active these people are. And normally, as soon as a new vulnerability comes in, there is a, uh, a fix list uh, to patch that. Then we can say, well, I can assign this to my uh, endpoint manager guy so he can fix those. You can also do things like determine which of these vulnerabilities are accessible from the internet, which I guess that those are far more uh, dangerous than ones that are not. And we Curator does that by getting information from the topology of your network embedded in the, te in the technology. Another one is a, a category called early warnings. You see, it, it is commonly the case that when you finish that the uh, you know scanning cycle that soon after there comes a new vulnerability Let's say that's a new you know SSL or Java vulnerability and now you need to rescan the whole thing to figure out which of your machines are actually vulnerable to that but then not anymore because of all that data resides already in the asset database curator receive from the national vulnerability database information about the new vulnerability and with it comes uh, some metadata about it and it really indicates which operating systems are vulnerable, which versions, and, and, and we can immediately, without having to rescan, can tell you which of your devices are vulnerable to that new vulnerability. Another one is that very few people are taking advantage of is, well, does my IPS has a virtual patch? And more of this later. But many, many of the vulnerabilities, particularly every, almost everything that is SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, they do have uh, virtual patches on the IPSs that can actually block that. But again, the vulnerability people are not talking to the IPS people, so those signatures do not get deployed. Another one is because 
QBM is sitting on a on an SIEM that looks at flows as well as logs. We can detect a temp of exploitation of a particular vulnerability, which is very big. I mean, you can actually say, well, show me the ones that people are really trying to break into. And you can actually uh, probably the, uh, direct your attention and your priority to those. And there are many other categories of uh, filtering that you can do with Vulnerability Manager, and there are separate videos that show uh, that.